All right, here's a question that's a little different, although it's all sort of very closely related. And Ray, you get to be the first one to answer it. Would you support green building and design guidelines for residential projects? Menlo Park is one of the few cities without green building design guidelines, according to this question. Okay, well, I'd like to see them first. Um, you know, ideally, if, if there are green residential guidelines, that are proposed. What you what you'd like to sit down is sit down with um, sit down with builders, sit down with those who are proposing. I'm assuming the Green Ribbon Citizens Committee, and figure out uh, what the guidelines are, because I don't know what the impact is going to be, frankly, in a vacuum. But obviously, as we're moving forward, anything that's going to be reducing uh, greenhouse gas greenhouse gas emissions is great. The question is, how do you do that, and over what time period that you do that? Um, so. I guess the answer is yes, I would support it, um, but it w it, there's a framework in adopting it. I can't just say in a vacuum. I'm actually going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to say any, any, uh, any such proposal that comes to me, I'm going to rubber stamp. I don't think that's appropriate as a city council member to just to say it that way. Okay. Uh, Dave, what do you think about green building design <clears throat> guidelines? I think, I think this is a great question and right up my alley. Um, I don't know, most folks probably know I own a small construction business. Um, and one of my business partners who is also a builder, successful builder here in town, one of our pet projects that we are working on right now, uh, we call it the 100 year home. And the 100 year home is something that we build that is also fully sustainable, um, includes all the green building techniques. Um, that's something that we're gonna do consciously on our own, but on council on rules for our city, one of the things that I've ran into when I've had clients that wanna do green building we go through the process and say, okay, these are your green options, these are your regular construction options. And nine out of 10 times, it's more expensive to do green building. And they say, well, money's green too. And so it, that's not the case, so they don't do it. If it was a code that we had here in the city that we had to follow, it would no longer be a choice of do you want to do it or you not want to do it. This is how we build, this is what it costs. It would be helpful to us builders to know that those are the rules, let's follow them. So absolutely, green building. Okay, uh, Kelly. Okay, as mayor, I signed the U.S. Mayor's Climate Protection Agreement and founded the Green Ribbon Citizens Committee. Uh, one of our goals uh, in our climate action plan was to implement green building codes, and we've done it. Um, there's more to do. Um, we worked with the Green Ribbon Citizens Committee, we worked with the building trades, we worked with the architect and development community, I can remember Sam Sinnott being here giving input, and we adopted um, uh, green building practices over and above the adopt adaptation of the California Green Building Code, which we adopted also. So there's more to be done, um, but we've taken some great strides and Menlo Park is seen as a, as a leader in this area. Catherine? I'm a huge fan of green building. Uh, when I redid my house, I incorporated a lot of the, the green things that are available in our renovation. Um, I think it's interesting in addressing this in terms of uh, encouraging not only the city, but everyone to incorporate green. When you look at the specific plan, they did a great job, uh, but they didn't clearly define public benefit. And outlining some green options might be something that uh, would be a good idea to do. I'm, I'm a big fan of transparency and I would love to see the city develop a list of these are things that could be included in specific in the, in the um, uh, public benefit menu and this is what could be traded. I think that, that transparency and that encouragement is a wonderful thing. I commend the city and their demonstrations in supporting the education programs that they have for homeowners and for contractors on what's available. They're doing a great job of, of that outreach. And I would like to see it go beyond uh, green building. I would love to also see the city uh, investigate uh, fleet vehicles that use alternative energy as well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carolyn, your turn. I'm also a fan of green building and making sure that our carbon footprint is kept as much under control and meeting the state uh, um, guidelines or their, their desire for 2015 or 20, I don't quite remember the year. However, um, I believe that Menlo Park has taken the right steps in that direction by adopting 
uh, a plan and guidelines specific to green building would be a, an additional plus. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.